Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we built the Love Shack. A little old place where we can, uh, well, get the animals together, really. Today's episode is not what I originally planned on it being. But too late for that, because things have changed. Oh, as they so often do. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring Star and Scratchy. Come on, Scratchy. You know you want to come in. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on inside. You're not you're not in enough. Come on, a little more. That might just have to be enough. I, I don't know. Because uh he doesn't have a saddle, so I can't ride him in here. It's alright though. I I'll find out if he's actually in far enough. Look at that. He is in far enough. Good. So we're going to enable wandering on him. And, uh, well, he's wandering here. And kind of stuck in the door, apparently. Yeah, you're you're kind of stuck, I think. It's okay. You'll... Here, okay. will that help if I open the door? Wow, he, he really has an itch. Look at him kick that back leg. There he goes. Good for him. Now, Star, before we do anything else with you... 2,000 hit points, not bad for a cat. Oh, go ahead and give her some more damage. Why not? We're going to enable wandering on star. Now, the reason we're going to be doing that is because theoretically here, theoretically, work with me. Oh, don't, don't give me that. There we go. Apparently, I built this place too big. That's why we are enabling wandering, because the most recent patch has enabled mammal mating. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait. That's actually why I'm kind of standing around like a creeper, just waiting to see what happens, because I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, okay, you kind of know what's going to happen, but there's no guarantee of anything happening, right? Oh, come on, guys. You know you, know you want to. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. There you go. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I need to build this a little smaller, apparently. Ah, bummer. Which means I also need to make sure that I have saddles on everything that I bring in here. It's okay. I can work with this. I can actually do something like... Uh, well, look at that. Okay, so there's the mating progress. I can just do that. I can manually tell them to stop moving. And that will kind of help out a little bit before they get too far away from each other. Star's doing a good job of hanging around. Now they have changed things in the most recent patches, the last uh, group of them, I'm just going to say, where you can't just weigh your animals down and you can't hop on their saddles to kind of force them to stay near each other. That doesn't work anymore. That's why I built this little building here. Now it's working out well because Star is staying in the middle of it, but just the same, I might still need to hand out the occasional whistle to tell them not to move. So you just hit U by default if you don't know that one. And that'll stop everyone from moving for a moment. I mean, it's not a long moment, but it is a moment. And uh, theoretically, if you just keep spamming that, you'll be okay. That is, assuming they start to wander away, which right now they're okay. Nope, don't go too far. It's interesting that you only get the progress bar on the female and you don't get it on the male. I had not noticed that before. I'm sure that's always been the case. Ah, oh, man, you guys got too far away. Okay, well, I'm going to make some quick changes to this place, I think. And, um, well, maybe I'm just going to have to hang around and do this. Either way, I'll be back with you in just a minute. We are almost there. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Aha! Look at that. Perfect. We have a pregnant cat. Now, I do run some modified server settings, so... Of course, things might be a little different on my server compared to what you would experience on your server. Or if you're playing on one of the official servers, of course, that's going to be a fair bit different. I need to disable wandering on everyone. Nope. Stop wandering. Star, stop wandering. Come back. Stop. I don't want you wandering. 
You can stop any moment now. Thank you very much. I'm trying to keep track of everyone. All right, I didn't end up making changes in here. I'll do that later. I was thinking about it, like, you know, technically we didn't build this one together. We built the prototype, but uh, that's okay. The, the shack, I mean, of course, but just the same. I'll, I'll take care of some of those changes in a little while, maybe on my own. But for now, let's go ahead and close the door. And yeah, it's probably a little creepy that I'm hanging around in here, but I mean, I kind of, you know, need to be in here. So we're going to enable wandering. And I got to admit, I didn't double check, but it does work. I didn't double check that wolves work. <laughs> I knew the cats did because, you know, of course I would know that the cats work, but I didn't double check that the wolves work. So we have our highest level wolves. And coincidentally, uh, these were the highest level ones when they were originally tamed. That's kind of the key. Not so much highest level now, but just highest level in general. Well, highest level when tamed, sorry, not in general. But so far looking pretty good here. I'm not going to stop them from wandering for just a moment because I wanna see if maybe the wolves have a larger mating radius than the cats did. Uh, I don't know if that was standard. Oh uh, yeah, they have reset, look at that. It's okay though. It's not a big deal. I can I can make changes to this. Yeah, see, you're, you're kind of getting a little too far away. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change how this building works, and that's okay. This was, you know, kind of an experiment. We built, like I said, a bit of a prototype last time, and it certainly wasn't perfect. It was uh, problematic, and at least in that it had walls instead of a door anywhere, but it's okay. I think I can still make this work. I just might need to make it a little smaller. That's okay, but I'm going to hang uh, here for a minute and uh, I'll be back with you. Almost ready here. One more whistle just to be sure. And look at that. We have some pregnant wolves. Now before I let them out I'm going to turn off their wandering because that was just ridiculous and I should have done that last time. It's okay. Let's go ahead and take uh, I guess Akalia. We'll go ahead and get her out of here. All right we're gonna move her over here. And then let's go grab Reaper. Come on, buddy. You're gonna go ahead and come out here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close up the love shack. It's not open for business right now. Let's see how Star is doing on her gestation. She's coming along. Now, can we see that her belly is expanding? Uh, I, I wanna say that was supposed to be added with things, but I don't know that I'm necessarily noticing that. Um, I mean, maybe uh, maybe that doesn't happen, and I, I remember reading about that being the case, but maybe it's not in yet, or maybe maybe uh, having a saddle could kind of interrupt things. I'm not 100% sure. For right now, though, we're going to get Scratchy, and we're going to take him inside, and I'm going to bring everyone back into the main campus, so to speak. Come on, Scratchy, my friend. We're just going to go ahead and bring him over over here. That'll be fine. Kind of back to where I used to park all my cats. Um, yeah, somewhere over there is good enough. That's fine. I am trying to watch so I don't see a bunch of animals running around out here. But let me move everyone around and I'll be back with you one more time. Okay, just checking on everyone. I actually decided to move everyone around a little more. I, I wasn't happy with where I kind of had everyone parked, so to speak. So have everyone just kind of hanging around here. Nice little comforting circle. Friends and family all gathered nearby. Well, at least the parents are gathered nearby. Okay, let's just see how everyone is doing here. So Akalia, your gestation, you're about a quarter of the way there, so you're getting there. Don't notice any changes with her. That would be scratchy right there and he is a proud papa to be, and Reaper another proud papa to be. And we have Star over here, and just because I'm curious, I'm gonna go ahead and take that saddle off of her and see if she looks any different. Um, she might, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not sure. Does she look like she's any different to you? Like maybe she has a bigger belly? I, I don't, maybe, um, maybe, yeah, I guess she does. It, it kind of looks like she does. I mean, 
kind of, you know, straight ahead right there. Like it's kind of coming down a little bit and maybe she's a, a little wider too. I mean, that's, um, that's kind of cool. I really, oh man, the thought these folks have and that they put into this game. Oh man, I'm just, I'm blown away. Like some really cool stuff. I mean, seriously, I, I really enjoy this sort of thing. These little details are just fantastic. Wow. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a break again. I'm going to be doing this a lot this episode, I think, just because so much of this stuff takes so much time. But uh, we'll be back not too long because uh, Star's going to give birth any time now. Okay, we're getting pretty close here. If you look at Star... Oh, there it is. Baby Sabertooth. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Let's imprint that thing. You, you don't need a name just yet. But uh, you you probably shouldn't be wandering. Can I can I turn off wandering? Is that something I can do? There we go. Just because. Oh, come here, little baby saber tooth. Where are you going? You need to come over here and get some food. Now this is why Uncle Shadow is over here. I happen to bring him over because he has a lot of food on him. Oh, look at how tiny that little kitten is. That is ridiculous. Here, let's get you some food before something bad happens. Yeah, you, you need a bunch of food. Here, you need all of that. That's actually all you can handle right now. It's okay. All right, come here, little kitten. Uh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be really tricky because I'm going to be juggling a kitten and a puppy pretty soon here. And I think for these early, early part, you have to... You have to manually feed them, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I kind of prefer it that way, honestly, but um, wow. Let's see how Achelia is doing. She's coming along. She's, uh, she's getting a little bigger belly going on, but she's not quite ready to give birth just yet. Oh man, so let's check out the little kitten here because I want to look a little closer and I'm going to need to pour some more meat into it anyway. Let's see, so what do we have here? Let's take a look. So, baby male, level 12, 385 base health, 240 stamina, 180 oxygen, 1500 food, that's kind of a blah, 204 pounds of weight, 195 melee damage. I think 130 would be the base standard movement speed, so I don't think that's any different. 830 torpor, that might actually be pretty good. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Yeah, look at that. Little baby uh, kitten here has a lot more torpor than the traditional, or, well, than others may anyway. Let's see if we can move him around a little bit. Oh, nope. I got Star instead. I, I didn't mean to... Sorry, Star. Um, actually, you know what? That'll be fine. We'll, um, we'll work with that. Oh, man. That is... Just so adorable. Here, let's, uh, can I do something like this? Can we really look closely? <laughs> oh, look at that dinky little tail. Oh, man. And those little teeth. Well, they're big little teeth. Oh, man, that is just too adorable. Look at that. There's, there's Kitten and Mama. Akalia, you're going to be giving birth soon here. Can I, can I get the kitten to move a little, a little now? There we go. Let's go ahead and get you to move over here. I just want to kind of bring you in the middle. That way uh, you can be right in between mom and dad. Can't obviously put a saddle on the kitten right now. That would be kind of silly, although perhaps adorable. I'm not quite sure. We'll go ahead and give you your saddle back because that'll be much easier for me to move you than it will be otherwise. And then, Proud Papa, why don't you go ahead and move in here. This is going to be weird. Cats and dogs getting together. Getting along. Hanging out. Let's go ahead and throw some more food on this guy. He's coming along. I'm obviously going to be busy for a while doing this. Ah, man. It's okay, though. I'm, I'm not complaining about that, actually. Like I said, I prefer that. I think that is a good mechanic there. Okay. Any moment now. What do we have? 
Oh, did we get... Oh, we got twins. Oh my gosh, we got twins. Oh, look at that. Where are you going? I'm trying to imprint you. Good. Now, um... Disable wandering and... Have some meat. You need you need food. No, come back. I need to imprint you. And you need to stop wandering. And you need meat too. Have food. There we go. Alright. Little guys. Oh man, this is so awesome. So excited. But this is oh this is great. This is great. This is awesome. Okay, I need more meat. Give me food. Because I need to make sure these guys are okay. Kitten, how are you doing? Kitten, you need more meat. Okay, puppies. Puppies. I don't know, do they really count as puppies? Because they're not really dogs. You need food. All right, good. You're going to have food. All right, you're going to have food. No problem. I got you covered, guys. Let's see, what are you? You are a little girl, 19. And you are a little boy, 19. Look at that. We got twins. Oh, that is so awesome. So exciting. Um, Ronnie, I can see through your tail. That's kind of creepy. Oh, man. So cool. So awesome. Loving this. This is great. Um, huh. You have all of your health and all of your food. Well, that is odd. So the wolves are actually functioning differently than the cats are. Cats are functioning the way the dinosaurs are. I wonder why that is. Is that intentional? Did I miss? Did I miss something? You're still maturing. I know there was a, a bug with how quickly the babies were going through food that was addressed, but um, did I did I miss a, a change somewhere? I'm really confused. Huh. Let's go ahead and bring the wolves over here. We'll bring the babies. Little baby dire wolves. Let's go ahead and bring you over here with the baby kitten. Come on. Come on, guys. You know you want to come over here. There we go. That's close enough. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Let's give you some more meat since you seem to be going through it at a much quicker rate. The wolves here are going through it at a standard rate, which, again, I find this all very interesting. Let's take a look at them, though. Let's pull out the spyglass so we can really study them closely. Look at those feet there. Those eyes, those are cool. Loving that. Dinky little tail. It'll get bigger. Guess we don't need to worry too much about that. They'll get their their tails later on. They kind of have um, they kind of have Achilles' feet, I think, because Reaper over here has lighter feet, and Achilles has darker feet, and uh, they both have a dark nose. I trying to tell uh, maybe a lighter tail, so maybe. Maybe a Kalia's tail, because I think Reaper has a, a darker one. Is that right? Yeah, this is uh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I am uh, I am enjoying this, but I need to call it an episode. Yeah, sorry about that. I I can't just have the next hour, five hours, however long this is going to be of dedicated baby watching, but. Uh, Ah, oh, man, this is good stuff. Really enjoying this. Baby Sabretooth, as soon as you get to the next stage, I think I can leave you guys to be taken care of by the food trough. And uh, I have a lot more food thanks to Gothmog. Uncle Gothmog took care of everyone today. That's why there's a bunch of food on Reaper. Shadow, sorry. Getting my names mixed up. I'm just too excited by all the little puppies and kittens running around here. But... Still have a lot more meat, so we're not going to run out of food. We are good. But I will catch you on another one. So, till then, I hope you've enjoyed puppies and a kitten. It's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this. Ah, so happy. But uh, I'll catch you another time. Thanks for watching. See you later.